Bright Falls, rock and roll capital of America. Oh yeah. No, I don't want to switch back to my heavy duty flashlight. I have a fucking lantern thing. It's a big old bastard. Do I want to swap out for a shotgun? Hey, well, let's this way to the farm. What the shit was that? I think he just had a little bit of a spaz attack. Yeah, let's go with the pump action shotgun because pump action shotgun. And the battery. Oh, I've got all the batteries. Basically, I am currently ammoed up to the fucking nines. Yeah, no, we want the shotgun. And there's still shit here that I can't pick up. I cannot physically pick up those batteries because I have all the bitchin' batteries that I could need. But actually, I mines. I might be able to go and pick up a bit more revolver ammo and grenades. Grenades. God bless flashbangs. In this sort of situation, flashbangs are the nads. Oh, limit reached, bitches. Barry, there's a hunting rifle back there if you want it. Then again, do I really want Barry equipped with weaponry? Not so much. That's a shiny thing. Is that a manuscript page? Looks like it might be a manuscript page. It's a manuscript page. Deputy Mulligan tuned Thornton's chatter out. He didn't think writers were particularly useful people, and a huge manhunt for one stuck him as idiotic. Certainly not worth the missed opportunity for coffee and pie. It wasn't even clear what the man had done, except run from them at the trailer park. Mulligan knew he wasn't alone. The sheriff's patience with the Fed was running out. Yeah, Nightingale's running out of friends. He didn't exactly have many to begin with, but he is running the hell out. Anderson Brothers, by the way, thank you. That was hilarious. <laughs> uh, ooh, what's this? It's red. Can I pick it up? No, it's a firework. <laughs> oh, that was brilliant. It's even got a dragon. <laughs> That's awesome. And I have a heavy duty. Well, it's not even called a flashlight anymore. It's a lantern or something. Anything over here? No, it doesn't look like it. No, it doesn't. Wait, oh, wait, 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 wait. Did I get a chance to pick up the thermos flask that was on the seating areas? Yep, looks like it did. Sweet. Okay, cool. I will actually continue with the story now, promise. But that was hilarious. Nice to see the game doesn't always take itself too seriously, especially with Barry enjoying himself, perhaps a little too much. <laughs> Right, so now we're over here. Where are we going? Can I get through here? Nope. I guess we're gonna have to go down here. See, bestseller, no reason to worry. Your cutout's good as new, right? Oh, for I the love it. of. I'll come back for it once we have the place secured. Why? Yeah, that's been my biggest worry all this time. We need to get this thing moved out of the way. This is as far as I got before they ambushed me. There's a generator debris up there, so I'm probably going to need to get up there. Let me guess, more bad guys. Or is that enough bad guys for now? Because that was hilarious! Um, wee! Up we go. Hey! I 
think Alan Wake here has something to say. Oh, uh, what's that, Al? Ooh, I'm Alan Wake. I'm always right about everything. And if I don't get my way, I'll sulk all day long. I'm always intense and moody. It makes me very attractive and mysterious. Right now, I'm just standing here because I need my best friend Barry to carry me. But that's okay. I can just take him for granted. I think I see what you did there. Yeah, it was pretty good. You want me to do my imitation of Barry Wheeler? No? Thought so. Yeah, Barry, do us all a favour. Shut the fuck up. Seriously, hush. Hmm. That was relatively easy. Let's go and explore this field. Oh, that looks like a shiny thing. Possibly a manuscript page. To reward mine efforts. Yeah. Awesome sauce. Right, we've got most of the manuscript page for this um, chapter now, I think. So we must be coming towards the end. As the deputies hauled Wake and Wheeler away, Agent Nightingale eagerly examined the stack of papers Wake had been carrying. It was incomplete. A collection of random pages. But there was enough. He saw his own name in there, among others. His hand shook with emotion. Finally, it was proof. He had been right all along. Right about what exactly? Little donkey. I don't know why I've got little donkey going through my head. I haven't got a clue. But I have. Little donkey. Eat in we go. Wow. <laughs> you look at that thing, Al. They really went all out with this Viking crap, didn't they? Look at all this stuff. They must have done okay for themselves. So how come I never heard of these guys before? And this from the guy who learned about Ozzy Osbourne through reality TV? Oh wow. Well that would explain why you haven't heard of them before, Barry. Really would, wouldn't it? Anything here? Don't need any batteries. Oh, I'll take the ammo. Hmm. Thermos flask. Is that a manuscript page in your pocket, or are you just pleased to see me? Neither, it's shotgun ammo. Shotgun! Sleep. We all spend uh, oh, our night spring. Soft Man. Mad. Somewhere it's between memory. Hey, oblivion. remember when I got you that gig? But your first real writing job. What got you started? Was oh, this one of your episodes? Oh, Alan wrote for night spring. Oh. Tonight's episode. Dream of dreams. Eh, that's by someone else. We join Mr. Jones as he explores the endless dreamscape, only to be brought to a sudden stop by a decidedly mundane situation. A long line of people. Hey, Jones, right? Listen, we're gonna have to wait until his finest over there is good and ready. Oh, wow, who's that? You don't know him? What are you, new? He's the guy dreaming us. Well, not just us, he dreams everything. All of this. But wait, no. I'm the one who's dreaming. I'm asleep. Isn't isn't this my dream? Oh, yeah. Sure. Get real, pal. You're just another dream. I'm a dream. You're a dream. The weirdo in the diving suit is a dream. And the girl made of smiles and sunshine is definitely a dream. But I'm pretty sure I'm dreaming this. Well, maybe you're a really confused dream. What am I, a shrink? All I know is I'm going with the smart guys. And they say that's the guy doing the dreaming right there I don't know what that means it means we keep him happy no sudden falls we make sure he has his clothes on when he goes out in public no chases where the monster is nipping at his heels and he runs like crazy but his legs don't seem to get him anywhere none of that because if he wakes up in a cold sweat oh. yeah. Pre 
precisely. So we wait till he wants to move on. Keep things nice and calm. Hmm. Hey, something, something's happening here. Yeah? What's that? What? Can't you hear that? Oh, God help us. It's an alarm clock. Oh, it's you, isn't it? Please, man, I got a wife and kids. Please don't wait. I see. Right, let's go up here. Find a way through the barn. Another manuscript page? Yep. I oh, really are quite a lot of them lately. It's 1976. Madness reigns at the Anderson farm. Contrary to all logic, the headiest ingredient of their moonshine is unfiltered water from Cauldron Lake. <laughs> the Andersons feel like gods. Odin can't stop laughing. He contemplates cutting his eye out. Ugh. Tor runs across That's the why field, he's got an eye patch. naked, shrieking, hammer in his hand, trying to catch lightning. Their songs have power. Something ancient is stirring in the depths, coming back. Of course, yeah. Because you've still got the darkness in the, the bottom of the lake. looked imposing. Almost like a battering ram. The 1975 Ragnarok tour. The old gods of Asgard, 1975 Ragnarok tour. Be awed by celestial wrath and fury. In a bunch of places. I, those old codgers are great, by the way. They're awesome. Except. <laughs> I'm in it now. The barn. Okay. The Anderson brothers are awesome. Um, it's gone all dark and creepy and crap and oh my god, there's a thing above me. Thankfully and unfortunately for him, I'm prepared for his shenanigans. You're gonna have to do something better than that, dude. Timing when to reload this gun is like reloading an auto loader in World of Tanks. Um, anyway, I'll have some more revolver ammo. Don't need the shotgun ammo. And that should get me out. Where's that guy? Um, yeah, well, I've got someone to kill first. And he's gone all rage on us. Pretty much. I have a good idea. This is a shotgun. Seriously, game devs, screw you. Let's try and draw him out. He's behind me. Cheeky little bastard. I got bored of his shenanigans. Is there an animal kept in there or something? I got bored of the rage guy being all ragey, so I threw a flashbang and he went away. He could rage as much as he wanted. It went bang. He went bang. The flashbang went bang and he went away. I grew bored of his shenanigans. <laughs> Reet, what's over here then? 
Where the smeg is buried? Go to the Anderson's house. Okay. Oh, piss. No, 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 no. we got uh, ah checkpoint that's where Barry made it to how did he get round there through all the bad guys King Barry wow those geezers had quite a production going on oh you know what Al if we make it through this alive I'm gonna start representing them no yep. don't sell this stuff online maybe get a reality show going release a new single Good luck with that, pal. Hey, the water. Way out of here, okay? I'm gonna take a closer look at this stuff. The water will make you go all kinds of batshit. You do not want that. The door was barred from the other side. I'd have to find another way. Manly time. <laughs> we really shouldn't be splitting up like this, but there we go. It suits me fine, because I don't want to wander around with Barry in my company. Shotgun ammo. Shotgun ammo. Let's go up the next flight of stairs. Seriously? Yeah, nothing I haven't faced before. He was hiding under some hay bales, for goodness sake. Coffee! Coughing! Uh, anything interesting? Eh, not so much. Arguably this light is too bright, because although it takes out the enemies faster, I'm struggling sometimes to see things through the glare. Ah oh, well. Radio time! What's this? Pick up heavy duty lantern. Pick up lithium batteries. I already have a heavy duty lantern. But there's a radio I can listen to. As you regular listeners know, I tend to work through the night, but I'm not the only one. Ooh, Deputies achievement. Mulligan and Thornton are taking a couple of moments off their busy schedule to join me here in the studio. Boys, how busy are you now? Deer Fest is almost here, isn't it? I Bet that keeps you in business. Pretty busy, yeah. Actually, Pat, we've been real busy with other stuff. Uh, which concerns an ongoing investigation. We can't talk about that, Thornton. I wasn't gonna say anything. I was just saying we got, you know, other irons to fry. And how would you compare your workload to last year's? Things have seemed relatively peaceful to me, but people do tend to get a little wild this time of year. Oh, it's wild, Pat. It's pretty wild. There's been all sorts of trouble this year. Vandalism, fighting, public disturbances. A lot of people gone missing, too. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's pretty much the uh, usual stuff, Pat. Uh, just, you know, uh, a lot more of it. Now, is it just me, or does Deerfest get wilder every year? People seem to be more drunk, at least, or they start earlier and younger. Oh, it's definitely not just you, Pat, but... Definitely, Pat. Hey, I'm talking here, Thornton. Uh, oh shoot, I lost my train of thought. Not just me. 
Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, it's wilder, Pat, but actually most of the trouble seems to be coming from grown men, people who ought to know better, you know? Kids are doing fine this year. Well, that's nice to hear, at least. Boys, I want to thank you for stopping by. I'll let you get back to your patrol. Sure thing, Pat. Yeah, sure thing, Pat. I see. There's music playing. Oh, of course, it's a radio. Of course, there's music playing. Duh. Shut up, Loki. Item limit reached. No one asked your opinion. There we go, generator going. Going I down. The it had to be the Anderson's home from the other side of the field. It wasn't far now. I wasn't worried about trusting the ramblings of two burned out geriatric wrecks. They had the goods. And on that note, I'm just going to go and refill my drink, and I shall return shortly. Okay, so I have refilled my drink, and I even got something to eat. <coughs> Another glass of strawberry gin should see me through this fine, methinks. So. Off the lift. Pick up everything that isn't nailed down. Don't need any more revolver ammo, and don't need any batteries. Ever loving crud. It's a com fine harvester. Jeez, oh, my God. care about the number of cows and pigs in the world? Apparently a pump-action shotgun delivered to the face offends. Who'd have thought? Right, where the smeg am I? I'm actually going to go back the way I came, because then I can pick up some shinies from inside the barn. Unless I'm no longer allowed inside. Ah, oh, screw it, there's a canister over here. There's a red box over here that should give me some shinies. And yes, I just had to fight a possessed Combine Harvester. And yes, he did just take the Combine Harvester fall to the face and not immediately die. <laughs> There we go, pick up all of the shinies. Cause we've got a brand new combine harvester and I'll give you the key. Ooh, I, ooh. I'm gonna stop singing now. <laughs> Let me guess. <laughs> yeah, the house is called Valhalla. Oh wow! <laughs> Have they modelled it on Odin's Hall perchance? Open the silo door for Barry. Oh, I don't want to open the silo door for Barry. I want Barry to go and die in a fire or something. Nope, I can't get through there. Yay! A hammer axe thing! Hurrah! 
climb up here. Not quite sure what the purpose of climbing up here is, but I can do it. Oh wait, yes I do, it means I can get over here. I could probably have done it slightly more elegantly, but meh. It's our gravy. Hello keys. Let's get out of here. That flickering light is doing my head in. Ah, uh. uh, Al, is that you out there, buddy? Yeah, it's me. Yeah. Hang on. Hey, let's go, man. He thinks Barry is one of those people who wants to appear and seem much cooler than he actually is. I think we're gonna have to work together to open this gate, Al. I think it's, it's mostly gonna be me yeah. working. Called it. Hey, I think that's the farm on the other side of the field. We're almost there. Oh dear. This farm is a crazy place for crazy people. We should feel right at home then. Something's gonna go wrong. But it's called Valhalla, which is awesome. Come on, one more gate. Let's do this thing. And that is the Anderson house. Awesome. They have shields, and it's called Valhalla, and that's amazing. And I'm going to see if I can loot anything before going inside. <laughs> it's like I'm playing Munchkin. Mutilate the bodies! Plus one level! Hurrah! What's over here? Is there a thermos lying around or anything? Don't look like it. That's just a drop of... funky proportion, so let's not go down there. Alright, let's go into Valhalla then. Hopefully this doesn't mean I'm about to die. Anything on the porch? Not really. The and the door's open. I guess we better check the fuse box. <sighs> of course the lights are out. The lights in these places are always out. Huh, drum kit. The power downstairs was out, but I was sure I could fix that at the fuse box. The power downstairs was out. Yeah. Oh, I was sure I could fix that at the fuse box. Record player. Is it going to be like the Queen song? If you play it backwards, it says something like "The devil is coming." Thus claim some people. No, some people claim it does. No, it probably doesn't. You know, there are people who will claim anything. Thermos. Jingle. No, that's not Jingle Bells backwards. That's just Jingle Bells slowed down and given a slightly weird voice. Um. Yeah, sorry, Loki was talking about Jingle Bells for anyone who's listening to this thinking, where the fuck did Jingle Bells come from? Huh. Ooh, two Thermos flasks of coffee in this place. Huh. Well, I guess it is a home. You know, this place looks kind of lived in. I thought the Andersons were in the booby hatch. Old on, gods know, know the I truth. Huh? Okay. I need to get the power on first. Manage your page. <laughs> Again, Alice's screams rang in the stillness of the night. I saw myself run toward the cabin, flashlight <laughs> in my hand. I followed my past self. I was an out-of-body observer, a time traveler in a crazy drunken dream. This was the beginning. The night Alice had disappeared. The mystery of what had happened during the missing week was about to reveal itself. Ooh. We might start getting some answers. Gosh. I said might. Found the fuse box. Can you 
hear that, Al? Music? Of course. We need to find where it's coming from. That's the message the Andersons talked about. That's the whole reason we're here. Lady of the Light? Oh, that's gotta be... What's your face? The crazy lamp lady from the town. Cynthia Weaver. Right! Must be! Okay? We need to find Cynthia Weaver. We'll stay here for the night and head back to town as soon as it gets light. Hey, Al. Lots of hours before dawn. Might as well get some rest. And by rest, I mean drunk. Come on, Barry. This is... Yeah. What the hell? <laughs> like I said, I like Pirates of the Fall. The band who did the music, so I knew the song before this. No, seriously, because... Oh, we don't get along, but we're gonna find her, right? You're a crazy bastard. I'm gonna stick by you, no matter what, ever. There we go. Sure. Cause I love I'm you a like a writer. A God damn it. Correct. If I just wanted to, I could write ten books a year, and and they'd be the best books that year. No, you pissed. Couldn't. That's right. I couldn't. But I could, cause I'm a writer. What? What? What do they put in this stuff? I feel like my brain is coming out of my nose. <laughs> I'm gonna get the recipe off those coots and be a, a, a booze millionaire. I just miss her, Barry. I just want her here with me. I know, Al. I know. It's gonna be okay. We're gonna make it okay. Barry's sleeping with his eyes open. <laughs> Is Helen sleeping with his eyes open? And why did it zoom in on the cutout? What's special about the pop-up cutout? the fuck? Alice! Alice! Where are you? Help! Alice! I'm coming! It's alright! I'm coming! It was a crazy drunken dream. And yet, it was more than that. It was the truth. A suppressed memory unearthed by the Andersons' moonshine. I was there, an out-of-body observer. This was the night Alice and I had arrived at Bright Falls. The night Alice had disappeared. I had a chance to find out what had happened. Whatever okay. power had brought me back to this night at the lake was also stopping me from leaving. I had no choice but to see it through. To find out what had happened. I remembered being surprised to see the cabin dark. Alice would have never turned the lights off. Alice? Alice! I remembered thinking, I caught a glimpse of her form underwater, sinking into the darkness. <sighs> Diving after her was the last vague memory I had of that night. After that, the next thing I could remember was waking up behind the wheel of the crash car and finding the first pages of the manuscript. <sighs> I couldn't find her in all that blackness. I must have thought she drowned. Alice! Jagger had Alice, Alice, and so she had me. Alice! I'd been easy prey. Look at the cabin. Is there someone in the window? Alice? Maybe she didn't drown after all. Maybe she's inside. 
Alice! Yes. The dark presence had touched me. She had dug her nails into my brain and used me, made me her puppet. She must be here somewhere. Maybe upstairs in the study. Alice! Yes, that's where she is. You can apologize. Alice! You'll laugh at the whole thing together and put it behind you. Alice! She's not here. You were foolish to think so. No, she's dead. She drowned. No, no, no! It's your fault your wife is dead. You are guilty. All she wanted was to help you right. You killed her. Ah! Oh, hush. There's still hope. Cauldron Lake is a special place. Here, you have the power to change things. She wanted you to write. I will tell you what to do. Choose between his wife and the beastie? I, if he finishes the story, I don't know. You can write her back. The story will come true, and all will be well again. She had Alice, and the manuscript was the ransom for her. Yes. I'll write. I'll fix it. I'll bring her back. Seems rather monotone. Okay. No. I wrote it. I remembered it all now. In the dark, I'd written for days, a week, almost a complete manuscript of a novel entitled Departure. Jagger had been my editor, whispering in my ear, making sure that the unfolding story would make her more and more powerful. I thought I was saving Alice. Even with the cobweb she put in my head, some part of me had been aware enough to write my escape into the story, to bring a light into the cabin to release me before I could finish, to interrupt the horror story before the ending, where darkness consumed everything and everyone. Zane was weak and far away, but I had written him into the story and his light had been enough to set me free. It is here now. I'm here because it was written. I brought the light to set you free. You must hurry. You will know I'm here. It will be back soon. She stole the skin of my armor a long time ago. She looks so old. I had woken up, confused and groggy, my mind consumed by darkness and fear. All I could do was to escape. The week spent in the cabin had taken its toll. I was barely conscious and fading fast. It had to have cost Zane terribly, thrown him even deeper into whatever dark place he now haunted. But he had managed to weaken the dark presence, kept me safe that night. I wrote it. It's my fault. That's right, James Joyce. It's your oh, fault, and you're gonna pay for it. Of course. the end of the chapter. Another song that I like. There's an altar rod with mystery of Tom the poet and his muse And a magic lake which gave a life to the words the poet used And so that's the end of and episode 4, chapter 4, whatever you want to call it. Interesting. 
doesn't, of course, answer the question, is Alice alive or dead? We don't really know. Anyway, that's chapter four, um, and I will leave you with the music that I will probably have to edit out anyway, as you'll see. That's how you reshape destiny.